So first, I want to say welcome, welcome to everybody here. I'm so happy to have you. I also want to say welcome to the replay crew. Um, this is a game that you, well, any of my trivias, you can play on replay. You do not have to be here live, even though I really would love you to be here live because it is so much fun. And I love interacting with uh, my, my, my crew over here my team over here in the chat. I love having y'all here. Um, we do have a game. We are competing. Um, and so what we're going to do is, well, first of all, for re replay crew, I would like you to be here so that you can play and you can um, com compete with our, our friends here. But if not, it's just like any other television show. Just say the, the answer out loud. Um, so I am going to read the question and the answers. Now this is true, false. So there's only going to be either one or two for true or false. So you're going to put the number one or two in the chat. Now you want to do it quickly, correctly and quickly because at, if there is a tie, then the tie is broken by who got the answer in the quickest. All right. And you will be able to see, um, who gets it right and and how quickly they got it in. So, um, yes. So you'll see it on the thing. I believe one is true and two is false, but you'll, you'll be able to see it. It's very simple. Don't stress over it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put myself down here so that I don't forget. So anyway, it's very easy. Um, I always say in all of my trivias, if you do not know the answer, it does not matter. Just guess. I always say there's no stress. Just guess. Okay. So if you don't know, just pick one. Okay. Just pick one. It doesn't matter. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, we are competing, but I have yet. I have yet. No joke. I now have a hundred games that I have um, put up here. Not all of them are um, trivia, but most of them are. And not once have I had out of all the trivias, anybody get all of them correct. So the topic is general knowledge tonight. But that is a very good question. Um, because a lot of times I do have topics. So on Thursday, I have another general a general um, knowledge uh, trivia that'll be four answers that you choose from. The following one is serial killers. And then after that, I have baseball. Um, you can always look in the community tab and that will tell you what is coming up. So, so that way you can schedule what you want. So like I'm doing Seinfeld and I'm doing MASH and I'm doing, I'll do some Disney. So um, anyone can yell at me. Nobody's yelling. No, <laughs> because it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is similar to um, uh, Trivial Pursuit. Yes, tonight is a 50-50 uh, guess. So um Anyway, so it's super fun. At the end, I will take the first top three and you get tickets for the drawing. Um, I'll explain that later. So first question is, if you shave your hair, it grows back thicker, more hairs per square centimeter. Is that true, one, or two, false? One is true or two is false. If you shave your hair, Will it grow back thicker? You know, you've heard it forever and ever, but is that true? Does it really grow back thicker? <laughs> the game scores. That's right. This game scores correct answers and then speed of answer. Thank you. Thank you, Wolfie. Wolfie knows how my brain works. I'll start something and then I'll go off because my brain doesn't remember. <laughs> and you want to get them in quick. All right. I I, I I shorten this down. So, oh, my thing's not working. It's it's two faults. So I'm going to have to look over here. Ah, oh, it was doing so good. I got, uh, ah. All right. So I'm still seeing the spinny, spinny, spinny stuff in front of me. So I'm going to have to look over here. Okay. 
So the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th. Is that one true or two false? One true or two false? Was it signed on July 4th? I get all my stuff so situated. I got talking now. Eddie! Eddie, I'm so glad you're here. You're here. I've been sending you messages over on that other thing. <laughs> I've missed you. I've missed you. Uh, the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th. It's two, two false. It was not signed on July 4th. It was actually signed on August 7th, I mean, August 2nd of 1776. It was, just, it was actually signed August. We celebrate on July 4th. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now you want to say two. <laughs> All right, female lions do most of the hunting in a pride. Is that one true or two false? Female lions do the most hunting in a pride. Is that one true or two false? Lions do most of the hunting. Oh my goodness. Well, hello, Ed. Ed, Ed John Lippett is here from the Philippines. He's come all the way from the Philippines, guys. <laughs> it's one true. Female lions do approximately 90% of the hunting to feed their families. Yeah, see, the women, we do it all. <laughs> But if you think about it, in a pride, there's usually the, the one main male. Um, he's got a lot of other things he's taken care of. <laughs> it's all right. The scripted U.S. television series with the most episodes is The Simpsons. Is that one true or two false? I know y'all know the answer to this one. The U.S. series, television series, The Simpsons, has the most episodes. The, U, the scripted U.S. television series with the most episodes is The Simpsons. Is that one true or two false? <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> Males just have pretty hair. <laughs> Women rule. <laughs> it's one. Of course. Oh, everybody got it right. Yay. Everybody got Yes, The Simpsons. The Simpsons. I'm going to have to do a Simpsons. I'm going to do a South Park, but I'm going to have to do a Simpsons one too. I love The Simpsons. I can't say I've watched every episode of The Simpsons though. I have watched every episode of the, of South Park. So. <laughs> I will do. Yeah, I will do the Simpsons. All right. The cigarette lighter was invented before the match. Is that one true or two false? The cigarette lighter was invented before the match. Is that one true or two false? The cigarette lighter was before the match. Is that true or false? What do y'all think? Oh, John, I just saw you. John Gary's here. Yay. Oh, I got a great crew. Y'all, I really like these <laughs> true false ones. <laughs> I do. I like true false. Mm. It's one true. 
It's true. The lighter was invented in 1823 and the match was invented three years later in 1826. So it's, it's true. The, the lighter, it's true. The lighter is, was invented before the match. Very good. I know. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Theodore Roosevelt had a pet hyena. Is that one true or two false? Theodore Roosevelt had a pet hyena. Is that one true or two false? Theodore Roosevelt. Can't you just see all the critters in the White House? There's a hyena running around. <laughs> Is that true or false? Was there a hyena running around the White House? <laughs> oh, I hate not having it in front of me. Um, sticks. <laughs> They rub sticks together. Uh, your grandson is Theodore. I love that. I had a dog, Theodore. It's true. It's true. He, he had a hyena running around the, the White House. <laughs> he had a hyena. For real. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I'm not. I have this now. I mean, I, I know these things right here. I'm not mistaken on this. All right. Olives are vegetables. Olives are vegetables. Oh, uh, the hyena. The hyena's name was Bill. <laughs> and it was a gift, a gift from President and, and from Ethiopia. <laughs> so tell me, are olives all are olives? Um are all of the vegetables one true or two false? <laughs> Bill the hyena. <laughs> well, I know if I'm going to give a gift, um, it, it's probably not going to be a hyena. So y'all don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, Malloy, you be careful when you open that package on Friday. <laughs> I said it was a t-shirt. I mean, my, I know it might it might actually be a, a hyena named Bill. <laughs> All right, it's false. Olives are not vegetables. Um, if if this if it has a seed inside it, it's normally a fruit. So, if there's a seed, it's a it's normally a fruit. All right. There are no countries with UN memberships that begin with the letter W. Is that one true or two false? There are no countries with in, within the UN with with memberships of the UN with the letter W. Is that one true or two false? Your real life friend. I know. I am. I'm her real life friend. I promise I won't ever give you a um, hyena for Christmas. You don't have to worry about it. And these are good questions. Hard to even guess. I know. I, I'm not, I don't play around with this, girl. All right. It's true. Wales. Wales is not um, in the UN. It does not have a membership of the UN. So it's true. There are no no uh, UN members with the letter W. Just passed this one. <laughs> it's, no worries. No worries. <laughs> All right. Here's one if y'all have kids. Ryder from Paw Patrol is a Dalmatian. Is that one true or two false and if you do not know because you do not know what paul patrol is or it is the name of it might be a hyena is is it a dalmatian is that one true or two false eddie so that other game 
they have all these things with all these game the gamers know and everything like you know all the op stuff or whatever I do not know. I always guess on that. And every time I guess, I guess it wrong. I've never guessed right once. Not once. <laughs> I don't know any of that gamer stuff. And there's a lot. There's a lot of gamer stuff. I won't have any gamer stuff on here because I don't know gamer stuff. And and most of my people don't know either. <laughs> so it's two faults. Uh, writer is actually the human. <laughs> He's the human. I know. Don't worry. Don't worry, Yvonne. Yvonne's guessing. Don't worry. Ryder is the human. Marshall is the Dalmatian. All right. Ethiopia. I can't even say that word. Yeah, that is landlocked. I could say it two seconds ago. It's landlocked. Is that one true or two false? One true or two false? Is Ethiopia uh, landlocked? Why is that word not sounding right in my thing? Um, hey, guys, while we're thinking about it, while y'all are discussing and figuring out if this is um, landlocked or not, go hit that like button for me. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. It helps push it out and let people know that grandma does trivia and fun things like this. True, false. <laughs> Eddie says E. <laughs> Uh, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Ethiopia. Did I stick? No, Utopia. Utopia. Did I spell it wrong? Ethiopia. I did. It's Ethiopia. Thank you. <laughs> Ethiopia. That's why my brain was like, what? That's my fault. That's a typo. Ethiopia. I'm sorry. Thank you, Wolfie. Y'all just got to know my brain and I do these things. All right. Whale poo <laughs> is an ingredient of the most expensive perfume. Whale poo is the, is the an ingredient in the most expensive perfume. Is that one true or two false? One true or two false? Whale poo. Do you find that with these very wealthy people spraying it all over their bodies? Um, I can't believe I did that. Ethiopia. E no wonder my brain was like, that doesn't sound right. Ethiopia became landlocked in uh, and, in 1993 because they were, uh, uh, they became independent. All right. So whale poo is... <laughs> is an ingredient in the most expensive uh in the most expensive perfume it's it's called amber ambergris or something like that yes they are they are used in a lot of cosmetics the oil and stuff i know that's why i said can can you <laughs> i'm not cussing can you imagine spraying it all over your body all right Queen Elizabeth's, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, the seconds, cows slept on waterbeds. Is that, thank you, Eddie, is that one true or two false? Queen Elizabeth II, cows slept on waterbeds. Um, right there. Eddie is right. That's what it's called whale poo <laughs> that sounds a lot better doesn't it than whale poo <laughs> appreciate that eddie does queen elizabeth's cow sleep on water beds true her cows slept on water beds she is all about animals and stuff and it helps their muscles and everything so um so, so it, it helped ease their, their, the pressure points. <laughs> I can't imagine dropping it. I have cows down the road for me. I can't imagine going out there and seeing, you know, water beds all over. Yeah, no, no, not here in South Carolina. No water beds for cows. All right. The Great Wall of China is visible from the moon. Is that one true 
or two faults? One true or two faults? Can you see the Great Wall of China from the moon? How would you like the job of swimming after the whale to climb? <laughs> no. no, no, not me. You had a waterbed in high school. Oh, I had a friend that had a waterbed. No, not, I've never had a waterbed. I wasn't allowed. All right. The Great Wall of China. Can you see it from the moon? Wolfie, we did the moon thing. Can you see? Can you see it from the moon? In the 90s, you had it in the 90s. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of friends that had waterbeds. It's two faults. It's faults. These are their pets. Oh, yeah. Um, you can't see anything. There's no structure on earth that you can see from the moon. All right. Korean pop group BTS has five members. I don't even know what this group is, but it's a pop group in Korea. <laughs> is it is it one true or two false? Do they have five members? And if you like me and you don't even know, just guess. <laughs> does the does the Korean pop group BTS have five members? Oh, Rachel knows. I don't even know. Rachel loves BTS. Well, B then you should know this answer. So just follow, follow Rachel. Shh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Rachel might know. She loves BTS. I've never heard of this group before in my life. <laughs> oh, you didn't. <laughs> All right. It's it's two. <laughs> She got it wrong. <laughs> it's two. Two. They have seven. They have seven people in their group. <laughs> I didn't know. I've never heard of them. They have so whoever they are. Whoever they are. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's why. Okay. Can a crocodile stick out its tongue? One true or two false? Can a crocodile stick out its tongue? Is that one true or two false? <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Ray, Ray, John says Rachel doesn't like two of them. <laughs> That's why there's only five. Because Rachel, Rachel doesn't, she doesn't count the other two. Just the five. Can a crocodile stick out its tongue? Hmm. <laughs> you entered a three. <laughs> All right. A crocodile can't stick out its tongue. That's true. So crocodiles have a membrane that holds their tongue in the place on the roof of their mouth. So there's a membrane that holds it in place at the roof of their mouth. So it cannot stick its tongue out. It stays in place, <laughs> which is probably good because it'd be going. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> All right. A day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. Is that one true or two false? Is that one true or two false? A day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. They don't have one because they swallow pretty things. <laughs> mm. Keeps they can't they can't stick their tongues out at us as they're coming after us. All right, a day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. Is that true or false? It's true. It's true. Venus rotates once every 243 Earth days and takes 225 Earth days to orbit the sun. So it's longer. It takes longer. I know. 
<laughs> Malloy, no cussing. <laughs> Definitely a trick question. That's not a trick question. All right. The longest word using the top row of a typewriter is pottery. The longest word using only the top row of the of the uh, typewriter is your keyboard is pottery. Is that one true or two false? What is the longest word? on if you're the longest word you can create on on the on the top row of a typewriter is it one true or two false the word pottery and if you think it's if you think it's not if you think it's two type in type in the chat what you think the word is i can't i can't type you learned yeah I, I, i'm really good at it it's two faults so put in the chat what you think that the word is if it's not pottery do you know what that word is and um i'll tell you in a minute what that word is <laughs> i want to see if y'all know without me telling you all right the oldest living person in 2022 was 118 so in the year 2022, the oldest living person was 118. Is that true or false? 118 in 2022. Not now, not currently, but in 2022. 118. I believe I just had a question about the oldest person. I, or that might be, that might be Thursday. Because I believe, oh no, that was the tallest. It was the tallest person in 2024. I was trying to think, I don't know. I've done so many of these questions. Like It's hard for me to remember what I've done and what I haven't. <laughs> I know I haven't done this. The oldest living person won true in 2018, uh, in 2022. Um, it was Lucille Randon, Randon. She was a nun who lived on the French Riviera. So she was 118 in 2022. That's pretty cool. I'm only going to be 105. So Malloy says. <laughs> All right. At any given time, one nostril is doing most of the work. At any given time, one nostril is doing the work. Is uh, Most of the work. Is that one true or two False. One true or two false. Eating croissants keeps you young. <laughs> A nun in France makes sense. It does. It does. <laughs> it does make sense. All right. Any given time, one nostril is doing most of the work. And nobody has told me what the, the longest word is. It wasn't pottery. And nobody has told me if they knew what it was. So I guess y'all were just guessing. I didn't see who actually said that it was true. I think Eddie got it right. Um, okay, so it's true. It's true. Um, the nasal, your nasal flow switches. It switches back and forth every couple of hours. So that's why when you get stopped up, sometimes you're okay and sometimes you're not. It switches back and forth. Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> is that what you think it is at the top? No. Because <laughs> I mean, you just did the top four letters. You're so funny. All right. All, this is what Eddie says the longest word is. All right. All national flags have at least one primary color. Is that one true or two false? One true or two false all national flags have at least one primary color is that true or false and while y'all are thinking about that i will tell you the longest word is typewriter <laughs> 
the longest word that you can do on the top row is typewriter. <laughs> Kat is, I'm not smaller, smarter than a first grader. <laughs> yeah, you got it. She got it. Wolfie. Now, Wolfie, did you type that in after I did it? <laughs> after I told you it's typewriter. <laughs> oh. All right. It's false. False. It is not. So there are several that don't. Ireland, India, Pakistan, and South uh, and Saudi Arabia. They do not. All right. Dumbo's lucky feather is black. Is that one true or two false? Is that one true or two false? Is Dumbo's lucky feather black? What color is it? What color is Dumbo's but lucky feather? Is it is it black or is it something else? One true or two false. Dumbo's lucky feather. And if you think it's false, put in the comments what color is it? I mean, true. It's true. It 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 is black. <laughs> uh, it's black. It originally in the in the original movie they show it comes from a crow. The lucky feather comes from a crow. Kata thinks it's pink. <laughs> it, my daughter would love it if it's pink. It's black. It came from a crow. All right, there is enough chlorine in your body to disinfect a swimming pool. Is that one true or two false? Oh, uh, my son, my autistic son, Jordan, he loves crows. They are super smart. <clears throat> is there enough chlorine in your body to disinfect a pool? Is that one true or two false? Is there enough chlorine to disinfect a swimming pool? Let's see. Y'all are doing, y'all are doing good at this. I hate not being able to see all my stuff in the front. Crow, uh, crows remember people, period. They will remember your face. It's false. Oh, good. Most of y'all got that right. It's false. Um. We have uh, we have around 100 grams or four ounces of chlorine in our body. A pool absorbs ki uh, kilos of the stuff. So it needs way more than four ounces. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right. Humans are born without kneecaps. Humans are born without kneecaps. Is that one true or two false? Is that one true or two false? Humans are born without kneecaps. Little babies. Do they have them? <laughs> Humans are born without kneecaps. Let's see. Rachel says inner inner ear bones and a fontella, I think. Um <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. They have cartilage and the cartilage they, they're born with the cartilage there, but then about three years old, that cartilage has turned into the bone that creates the bone. So when you're born, you do not have knee bones. <laughs> it's so, so serious. No, you have cartilage, but there it's not, it hasn't formed into the bone yet. It does about three years old. All right. The standard character you play as in Minecraft, uh, the standard the standard character you play as in Minecraft is Steve. His name is Steve. Is that one true or two false? The standard character. I guess you can buy them. I don't know. I don't know anything about. 
I don't know anything about uh, Minecraft, but I know tons of people <laughs> play it. So I guess you can buy other characters or whatever, but the main character, the standard one that you get, is his name Steve? Is that one true or two false? Steve. <laughs> it's one true. So the person who developed it did that as a joke. And I can see people sitting around. Can't you just see, you know, a bunch of guys doing it? Or I shouldn't say guys, people sitting around going, what should we name it? Oh, let's just name it Steve. <laughs> never see i if it were me i don't know bob just comes to my mind all the time so i would just say it's bob that's bob <laughs> you've never played i've never played it either but my son did you have to send my mom a card now <laughs> all right biologists believe 20 percent of marine life is yet to be identified is that one true or two false biologists believe that uh, 20% of marine life is yet to be identified. Is that one true or two false? 20% of marine life has not been identified. Is that true or false? 20% hasn't been. Rachel says there are there was a new discover of a sea slug last week. Oh, there always I, it amazes me. It just amazes me. It's two, it's two false. There about two thirds, two thirds of marine life has not been um, identified. So that's about sixty six. I think I think it was sixty six point six seven something 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 um, percent has yet to be identified so way more than 20 percent all right we are getting ready to solve this mystery right now nike is meant to be pronounced nike is that one true or two false how do you say that n-i-k-e is it nike or is it nike is it is Nike supposed to be Nike? Is that one or is it two faults? We are solving this mystery right now. I have heard, I used to sell shoes and they're like, it's this. No, it's this. Everybody had an opinion. I'm getting ready to tell you right now. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? Nike. N-I-K-E. Is it Nike or Nike? Not sure. If they've seen all of them, some are so deep. Yes, Yvonne, you are correct. Oh, Kata. <laughs> <clears throat> Rachel, yes. It's, is it Roman or Greek? Hold on. It's, shoot. I'm on the wrong thing. It's Nike. It, it's, it's Nike. Nike is, is what it is. It's, um, Greek. It's the Greek goddess, Greek goddess. All right, Nemo was a, has a missing fin. Does Nemo have a missing fin? Rachel said almost Greek, you almost said Greek. It is Greek, you're right though. Nemo has a missing fin. Is that one true or two false? Nemo, Nemo, does Nemo have a missing fin? Thin. One true or two false? <laughs> One says she's with Kata. One, two. <laughs> oh, Rachel says it's a small fin. It's not missing. Mm -hmm. Nemo has a fin, a missing fin. It's false. And Rachel is right. It's a small fin. It's small. He has a, his, his pectoral fin is his, called his lucky, or a, he has a, two small ones. And one is his lucky fin. It's a little bit smaller. That was his lucky fin. <laughs> Rachel is right. You're on it, girl. Good job. <clears throat> Yvonne, I think you're a little slow. Refresh it. 
two people with brown eyes cannot have a child with green eyes. Is that one true or two false? Two people with brown eyes cannot have a child with green eyes. Is that one true or two false? Two people with brown eyes cannot have a child with green eyes. Is that one true or two false? <laughs> Rachel, you are not dumb. <laughs> okay, so when you put two in, I hope you're answering for now because that's what the system's going to do. Don't and if you if you change your mind, don't change your mind in the system. Um, <laughs> Michael Malloy says uh, the eyes have it. It's two false. Two faults. Although unlikely, brown eyed parents can have a green eyed child. It's not likely, but it can happen. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> All right, I don't think it's gonna pop up in street in uh in the system, but Eddie's got the eyeballs showing. No, it didn't. I love that. That's funny. Um Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Volkswagen Group makes almost as many sausages as cars. Is that one true or two false? One true or two false. Volkswagen Group makes as almost as many sausages as cars. Is that one true or two false? Volkswagen Group makes almost as many sausages as cars. <laughs> it's true. One true. <laughs> Yvonne. Yvonne would know. She's German. All right. It says, like, you know, everything German, right? <laughs> they started making them for their workers and now they make 20,000 sausages a day. 20,000 sausages a day. They started making them for their for their uh, their crew, which is really cool. All right. The fastest person to cross the United States on foot took 52 days. The fastest person to cross the United States in on foot took uh, 52 days. Is that one true? or two faults. The fastest person to cross the United States on foot took 52 days. Is that one true or two faults? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> no blaming idea. <laughs> Guess. Guess I'm on. You got a 50-50 chance. How how long did it take them? It's two faults. It's two faults. It actually took them um, 42 days. It was 3,100 miles. 74 miles a day. He walked 74 miles a day. And the guy's name is Pete Kostelnik. I think that's how you say his name. I probably butchered it. All right. There are more grains of sand on earth than there are stars in the universe. Is that one true or two false? One true or two false. There are more grains of sand on earth than stars in the universe. One true or two false? Yvonne said, I had no blooming idea they made sausages. I didn't know they stopped making the regular people. <laughs> you're funny. Yvonne, I think you're behind. So, so like refresh your screen or get out and come back in. Because I think you're, I think you're lagging a little bit, which is going to be putting your, your things off. Um, it's too false. Oh man, look at y'all. 
everybody got it right. There are, there are, uh, there aren't more grains of sand on earth, on earth than stars. There are 10,000 stars, uh, for each grain of sand. All right. The country with the most languages is Belgium. The country with the most um, languages is Belgium. Oh, cat a lost, <laughs> cat a lost can internet. Well, I'm glad you're back. The country with the most languages is Belgium. We didn't know the universe. <laughs> Aww. Slay roll, Malloy. Not on my channel. <laughs> Behave yourself, man. All right. The country with the most languages is Belgium. And that is false. Uh, most of you got it. Uh, uh, how do you say that? Papa. 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 New Guinea or Nugani, Nugani um, ha has more languages than the entire continent of Europe. So that is false. It is not Belgium. It is Papua New Guinea, New, New Guinea, I guess. All right. There are 364 days in a leap year and we are in a leap year. Um, yes, you are correct. Um, uh, Rachel, there are 364 days in a leap year. Is that one true or two false? One true or two false? Oh, lucky. Don't put in so many, <laughs> don't put in so many twos, just one. <laughs> it won't count it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> how many days are in a leap year and we are in the leap year so how many how many days are in a leap year and we are in the leap year it's two faults eddie eddie you knew that you know this i'm gonna say you had a brain brain lapse um, it's 366 days. So February has 29 days instead of 28. So we get one more extra day. <clears throat> so, in, so you, we have 366 days. All right. If not dead, a small piece of jellyfish can morph into a baby. Is that one true or two false? If it's not dead... A small piece of jellyfish can morph into a baby. Is that true or false? In other words, if, you know, the jellyfish has a little piece that's missing and it's just laying there, but it's not dead, it's alive. Can that form into another jellyfish? Or is it just, you know, laying there? <laughs> just don't touch it. <laughs> and we've we've already learned that it's a myth. Don't go peeing on people. <laughs> it's one true. It can. It can regenerate. As long as it's not dead, as long as that piece is still alive, it will form into a whole new um, jellyfish. Animals are weird. You are correct. And that sounds like something. Yeah, animals are weird. It's amazing. It's amazing what animals can do. All right. This is the last question, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right. Walt Disney got the idea for Mickey Mouse from his pet mouse. Walt Disney got the idea for Mickey Mouse from his pet mouse. Is that one true or two false? One true or two false? Did Walt Disney get the idea for Mickey Mouse from his pet mouse? One true or two false? And I do have some Mickey Mouse things in my shop. <laughs> 
Rachel, we are so glad you're here. It's fun. <laughs> and I'm so glad that um, Eddie came back. I have missed you, Eddie. All right. It's two faults. He did not get the idea from Mickey Mouse, from his pet mouse. He did not like mice. <laughs> he was scared of mice. He was terrified of mice. So, no, he did not have a pet mouse. <laughs> he did not have a pet mouse. He was terrified. So, wow. Okay, so rescue yourself. Got 25 out of 35. Good job. Yay. Wolfie got 23. Rachel got 22. Oh my goodness. Y'all did great. Malloy, 17. Lucky Lou got 17. Josh Makes got 16. To so see Malloy and Lucky Lou. Um, Malloy was just a little bit faster than Lucky Lou getting getting them in. So Malloy, you got you got higher. Good job, man. Sorry, Lucky. Um uh Eddie got 13. Cat a nine, Yvonne got seven, John got five, John left us, <laughs> Ed left us, he got four, and Nick. Um, I I actually think um, Nick is a, a younger person, so um, that's why we have to be careful about coming in. I don't, I'm not sure, but I, I, I'm, I think, um, so... <laughs> I know. Yay. Very good. Rescue yourself. I, that's, that's good. 25, 20. See, that's why it doesn't matter. Um, Rachel says, congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Computer is faster than us on a cell. <laughs> Vaughn says, oh, so he got the glorified it to his liking. Um, you're welcome. Molly says, thank you, Grandma's house with hearts. I love it. It does. Rachel, whoops. Rachel says, it doesn't really matter, Michael. It was fun. That's right. Like, like, <laughs> like whose line is it anyway? That's right. That's right. And so I, I have so much fun. I have so much fun doing that. I'm going to pull myself up here so you can see me. Hello, hello, here I am down here in that little team time box. Wow, that was fun. I, I really do like the true false ones. Um, now I like the regular trivia, but just having just two to guess from, I don't know. And I did make it go faster. Um, so actually that was like five minutes faster. Um, I shaved off your choices. I, sh I shaved it down 10 seconds. So you had to make the, you had to decide quicker. <laughs> ah, see, <laughs> you had to make up your mind. Um, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. I love that. Make sure that uh, you need to go look at the books and things that I have on there for, for the little ones that you have. Um, you, you, you loped it. <laughs> You loved it as well. Yes, um, Wolfie, I'm glad you had fun. I I so enjoy doing these games with y'all. I enjoy getting the questions and finding the stuff. And it really does help me because um, with my brain, I don't remember. And I mean, literally, I do these questions. I could do them and... <laughs> And not remember what I what the questions are, and I do apologize for my typos. Ethiopia, I knew I was like, what utopia? What I don't know. Whatever. Um, I have to break it up into time so because I can't sit in front of the computer for long periods of time doing these questions. So that might have been what it was, or heck, my fingers, whatever. But um, I do appreciate y'all uh, bearing with me when I get things wrong. Um, yeah, it does seem that the computer is faster, probably. It's funny when um, a lot of times I'll have it on my TV, I'll have it on my phone, or I'll have it on my computer, and I'm listening to like Malloy's channel or whatever, and the phone, the signal is faster when I do it, when I'm listening on my phone, so I can like have it on my phone and then be playing it on a television or the computer, 
And what I hear on my phone is, is, uh, is sooner than, so the computer or whatever else is lagging a little bit behind. So, um, so we'll just say that, <laughs> but that is true. You're casting on your TV. Yes, that is a great way to do it. I know Wolfie does that a lot. She puts it on her television so she can see everything on the television. And then she keys in the answer and, and on the phone. Um, so that way it's easier. So you're not looking at the thing. I was doing like crossword puzzles and um, word searches, but you have to look at that. So, and the, the words are so small that, and a lot of people are doing it on their phone. So to look at that tiny little screen is difficult. So, um, so I just stopped doing that. So um, I liked it. I really love, I love word searches, but to look at those tiny little letters is not fun. Um, a cat, I'll let the good times roll. Grandma's house is always a good time. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, Eddie. Eddie. So I, I, if, if you're here, please let me know if you're here. Um, I saw, and I need to tell y'all this. Okay. I had put Nightbot on my, on, on my streams and stuff. I had, okay, good. Eddie. So listen, <laughs> listen, because I was worried that um, this happened because I know it had happened to you and I didn't want you to be upset by it. I put Nightbot on my grandma's house. I had never had it on there before, but I did it because I run um, like words on stream and things. I run it without anybody there. So a lot of times I do have mods in there, but I can't count that there's always a mod because it's 24 seven running. And I did not realize that automatically it puts in emojis. So if you put a lot of emojis, um, it will block you and it times you out. So I know Eddie Haskell <laughs> and he, you missed, you missed the, um, the 50s one. I was hoping you would be here for the 51, for the 1950s trivia, because that was fun. Um, but anyway, it was it was blocking you. And when my daughter, I didn't know until I saw it later, when my daughter was in here, she does emojis all the time too. She was seeing that it was not letting you through and she was pushing it through. So that's why sometimes it would go through and then then if she wasn't here, it blocked you out. And I was worried that you were upset that I blocked you out. And I would, I did not, I did not uh, time you out. I have not timed anybody out. So um, I just wanted you to know, <laughs> I felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then when I saw you on that other site, I was like, Eddie. <laughs> and you weren't, you weren't responding. I didn't want you to be upset and think that I, I didn't, I didn't want you here. And I have taken that off. So you can do emojis. You can do all the emojis you want. It does not bother me. I like emojis. That's why I was like, what, why is it doing that? Um, uh, whoops. I just clicked on something. Okay. <laughs> I just saw that, and then when you, you have you weren't coming back, I was like, "Oh no, I I would I didn't want you to be gone." And then I was like, "He likes trivia because I saw you over on that other trivia thing." And right now we're one and two. <laughs> I I don't know why people don't go over there. I don't know. I don't know. I like it, but I don't. There's too many gaming things on there. But um, anyway, well, I'm glad you're here. Um. Wolfie says, I just saw the beaver in a movie with Shirley MacLaine and call, I called Trouble with Harry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I I just, I, I need to start watching some of that. Right now I'm watching Seinfeld and MASH because I'm going to be doing Seinfeld and MASH coming up. Um, so I will give you heads up um, pretty much 
Um, you're welcome, Malloy. <laughs> Malloy likes my accent. I'm glad you like my accent. Don't be making fun of my accent, Malloy. Um, <laughs> you work on your attendance. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. I just, now that I know that it was just, you were busy because people get busy. I, I, that's fine. I just didn't want you to be upset thinking that I was blocking you out for any reason. Cause I was not. Um, uh, thank you. Last question. <laughs> Rachel. Honey, you can ask me whatever you want. Where did I get my shirt? Um, my shirt is Chico's. I love Chico's. <laughs> I have a lot of Chico's. <laughs> but uh, this is a Chico shirt. So that's where that's where I will I will say I get most of my stuff. Um, so I'm I'm gonna tell you. I well here. Let me do this and then I'll tell you my thing really quick. So rescue yourself. Uh, Wolfie and Rachel. So uh, let me tell you, okay. So I have a drawing once a month for the people who win. Okay. So what I do is I have, um, I have these, oops, I have these tickets. All right. And if you win either first, second or third, you get tickets to put in the draw into the drawing for, uh, for the month. So if you get first place, like Rescue Yourself gets three tickets, Wolfie gets two tickets, and Rachel, you get one ticket. And I put you all in the drawing. And on the last drawing of the month, which this this month will be the, um, the I think it's baseball. I think the baseball, yeah, because that's on the 28th. Um, actually, I can take my eyes off. No, I can't. My eyes are like on fire. My allergies are like dying. Um, Anyway, um, the, the, on the 28th, like now after the, the baseball trivia, I will do a drawing and I'll pick out, um, somebody from any, all the one, all of the trivias. And what it is, is you get $25 to my sponsor, which is me. And that is a grandma's, whoops, grandma's gifts. The number four, the letter U.com. So grandma's gifts for you. It's um my shop is in the description. I have all kinds of things in there. Um, I've got a whole section for Malloy. So if you want Malloy stuff, his the Superman or the Super Malloy shirt that he has on right now, that's in there. Kata has on her Malloy sweatshirt. Um uh it, it there's one that's in there. Um so I have a whole lot of Easter stuff in there. I've got a ton of stuff. Um, <laughs> I want electric cheese straightener. What? <laughs> An electric cheese straightener? A straightener? How do you straighten cheese? I don't know. <laughs> so I got no Rachel. He's a nut. I love it though. Um. So you get $25 to spend in on anything in the shop. So I was at first going to do it like a t-shirt and I was like, no, 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 because you might want, want a t-shirt. You might want something else. So there's plenty of things in there. It's all different sections. Um, I have a lot of Easter stuff in there right now. Um, I'll be putting stuff in there for summer and, you know, all the holidays. It's, it, there's not a time limit. So you can wait until Christmas to use it whenever you want to use it. So that's what, that's what your prize is. I also have Wordle. Wordle is on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's a fun game to play. We have a lot of fun there. And I give two prizes on that one. Um, so same thing. It's at the end of the month, but that's a total of points and games won and all that stuff. But anyway, so I like the competition, but I also like what it does for your brain. Um, so, um, I was going to tell you now that I've told you about the prize and what you get. So Rachel, right. Rescue yourself gets three. Wolfie gets two and Rachel, you get one and I'll put you in with everybody else. So, um, Thursday I have general knowledge. Okay. That one's coming up Thursday. And then Monday is serial killers. Um, Wordle is, um, 
words on stream is like an unscramble. And I play that one generally 24 seven, unless my internet gets wonky and it drops it. And I will put it back up after this. I usually take it down so that it won't make my, my internet, like my game spin, but it didn't work this time. So anyway, um, then, um, Wordle is you're trying to guess five letter words. And you just keep putting in five letter words and it tells you whether or not the there the word the letter is in the word or not or if it's in the right spot or not. It's super fun. You can go on, I have a whole playlist of Wordle. You can go on there and look at it and see how much fun it is. You can play that on um on replay, but it's more fun to come and play. Um, and it doesn't matter. No, we I've got such a great crew that comes in there play. Um, and the unscramble. That's uh, I'll put that on as soon as I get off here. I'll go put it on. It's called Words on Stream. You'll see it. Um, whoops, I'm not Kata. Why is this thing not popping up? Thank you for the entertainment. I'm going to read my emails now. Unless the next time. Uh, until next time, love you. I love you too. <laughs> and good night to all. Thank you so much, Kata, for coming. And uh, you do have an email in there for me. Um, nothing important. But you can always, if y'all ever need to try and get in touch with me and you're not on Discord, um, you can get to me. You can email me through my grandma uh, grandma's gifts for you. Um, you can just, there's a contact thing. Go, you can email me through that and it comes directly to me. So if for any reason you need to do that, you can also message me through the community tab on, um, on, on the, on the grandma's house channel. Um, uh, uh, I can't remember what boggles like, so I'm not going to try and answer that. Moy says, take care, babe. Slay roll, Moy, not on my channel. This is a this is a chill, a family channel, word stuff. Yes, we do a lot of word games. Good night, Yvonne. I love you, girl. I'll I'll talk to you later. Yvonne is my real life. Family. She knows all the dirt on me. <laughs> oh, Malloy, thank you for caring. You are amazing, Caterpillar. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, Cata. It, going through him was fine. It doesn't matter. Um, I appreciate y'all so much. Um, so I was going to tell you really quick before I got off what I'm going to do in April. So this is, how, I will put it in, you can always know on, um, in the community tab, what my schedule is and if I change anything. But right now on April 1st, which is Monday, because these are always Mondays and Thursday. April 1st is just Easter Easter trivia on Thursday is WWE because uh, their WrestleMania is coming up. And my, um, my son is, uh, he just loves wrestling so much. So I'm doing um, wrestling like WWE kind of thing on Thursday, the fourth. Then um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing Ghostbusters on the eighth, Monday, the eighth and doing that. Oh, uh, so Wolfie, hopefully, because Wolfie was talking about Ghostbusters. So I'm doing that on Monday so she can do that. To, uh, Thursday, the 11th, I'm probably going to do musicals. That may change. Monday, the 15th, I'm doing Seinfeld. Then Thursday, the 18th, General Knowledge. The 22nd of April, I'm doing MASH. Thursday, uh, the 25th, I'm doing South Park. And um, then on uh, April the 29th, I'm doing True False. So this one again. So every month, I'm going to do at least one general knowledge and one True False. Um, okay, so Rachel wants Ghostbusters too. Yeah, I knew Ghostbusters is coming out. So um <laughs> the most famous grandma on the net, internet, so we say. <laughs> That's an inside joke between me and Wolfie. Um, yeah, Rachel, are you on Discord? We need to know. 
And um, thank you. Yes, everybody, please go hit the like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed, if you're playing, you've subscribed. But if you're watching, please go subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get my hundred. I want a hundred by the end of the year. It's possible. Um, musicals. Oh, you're a thespian. Okay, well, I'm going to do musicals. Um, it's not going to be one specific. It will just be musicals in general. Um, I'm on it. I think they have SP on Discord. Um, I don't know how they are. Uh, <laughs> girl, okay. Uh, uh, there's nothing amazing about my game tonight. So hush. Oh, you did good. <laughs> That's right, Wolfie, in our opinion. <laughs> the most famous grandma on the internet, in our opinion. You are correct. <laughs> Send me the link or something. I think. Are you talking to, you're talking to Malloy? Um, yeah, he will. He'll send it to you. All right. So, guys, thank you again for coming. I, it makes me so happy. And I really appreciate y'all coming and spending this time with me. Um, Discord, send you the link. Okay. Um, again, go hit the like, subscribe, share out. Let everybody know grandma is doing trivia and word games. It's so much fun. I'm going to get off of here. Give me a minute. I'm going to go set up and put on words on stream. And I just let that go. It just plays. So you can come in and play as long as you want. Now, I cannot play for very long because I've already been in front of this screen too long since I was on Malloy's channel before here. Um how do you get her on Discord? She needs to um, uh, just go uh, download the app. Just Google Disc Discord and um, download the app. And then when you get on the app, um, you can uh, search for um, Grandma's Houses on there. Malloy, the Malloy Show. Go to him first. He's probably the easiest. Um because of the way his name is she, he can actually send you a link um and um then we can just start sending you requ uh friend requests or whatever okay and i need to set up my discord uh hey um eddie are you on discord at all eddie sleepy yes good night eddie um you can send her a link, send her a link. And once we get her on, on with you, then we can kind of spread her out. And I need to get grandma's house channel, the grandma's house, uh, discord changed from just a regular thing into one for a channel. Um, you're not on discord. Okay. That's fine. If you ever need to get me, you can email me through the, the grandma's house. I mean, not grandma's house, but grandma's gifts for you. You can always do that. All right. Well, or send me a message in the community tab or on any of my games. If you put it in the comment, I, I'll see it. I see it quick. So anyway, comments are good. You can just put a comment in there. All right, guys. I love you so much. I'm going to go over here and put words on stream. And I will hopefully see you on Monday. Um, not Monday, Thursday. And Thursday is general knowledge, so it's not a specific thing. You know nothing about the app. It's fine. <laughs> I, I don't do much on the app except for it is an easy way to be able to contact people and let people know what I'm doing. So anyway, but all right. And then you could send me messages over on that other channel. There's nobody there. <laughs> That's what I was doing to you. Oh, yeah. Did you ever even see any of those messages? I was, I would, I would just put, I would play for a little bit and then I would go in there going, Hey, Eddie, <laughs> come play, come play trivia. And I felt so bad because I'm like, I'm putting, Hey, Eddie, come play trivia on my channel on a trivia channel. <laughs> they're so, they're so small though. I, I haven't looked to see how long they got there. There. I wish that, I wish there was more communication with those people. You saw me. <laughs> You didn't answer me. <laughs> I 
I think it's really funny that we're one and two and I hardly ever go in there. I go in there. I went in there today and played for a little bit, but then it started hitting all these gaming things. I was like, I don't know the answer to these. So I left. <laughs> I was trying to guess and I guessed wrong. <laughs> so anyway. All right. Well, I'm leaving. I'm going to go do words on stream. I had so much fun with y'all and um, I will see y'all later. All right. Good night. Mwah.